Hi, it's Dave over at PowerGate.us and we're trying another experiment today. If you've been following along with the previous videos, uh, you know that I've been testing my Vortex cell. It's a completely different design uh, than anything that's out on the market. And um, getting some remarkable results uh, trying to narrow down exactly what is causing the great results. Yesterday, uh, the video I posted showed well, it showed about zero amps, but uh, I think it was about one, it was less than one amp, it was about half an amp, because unfortunately my ammeter is extremely uh, coarse. But it, it, the ammeter works. Few people ask me, well, maybe the ammeter wasn't working, even though it showed zero. Does work, tested it. Um, the only difference between pulling 31 amps with this setup and getting less than an amp with a setup is a very powerful water. I've added 20 drops and I call it organ water. Um, it's, it's a live water, has a crystalline structure, has a hydrogen bond angle of 114 instead of 104.5. So uh, over time the amperage draw went from 31 down to less than an amp and the output stayed the same. Today I've made one change only I added a toroid coil, and you can see the toroid coil right there. All right, what we're going to do is simply plug this in. It's at zero amps right now. I'm going to plug it into a freshly charged battery and see what happens. Okay, she's all plugged in. As you can see, we have good output. Now this is, if you were watching closely, this is, I would say, about three times the output as the video from yesterday when we had zero amps. So use, just using the toroid coil is really boosting the output. The amps have gone up. Yesterday they were registering right at about, uh, well, the needle showed zero. So right now it's probably at one and a half, maybe two amps. And we get tremendous output. So Good output at one and a half amps. And the only difference is I simply put a toroid coil, and that's a very, only a few windings on that coil. 